Hi, my name is Michael Rapino. I'm creative director and a senior partner at Mediastead, a digital marketing agency in Pennsylvania. This video is the first in a series called Michael's Workshop, where I review tools of the trade and uh, teach you about various aspects of what I do as a web developer, but also how to manage your websites in a more efficient way. Today, we're talking about image optimization. Uh, I'm going to go over two tools and also a way for you to know whether or not your images are optimized for your web pages. Uh, it's a very simple and quick tutorial, but I think you'll get a lot of uh, benefit from this particular review because... Um, depending on how many images you have on a on a web page, it can really bog your website's performance down. And this is specifically important because uh, the the longer it takes for a web page to load, uh, the less likely it is that someone will stick around to to see the page that they're they're on. What we're going to do here and and one thing I'll point out is the size. So our largest image is five megabytes moving down to our smallest image, which is 919 kilobytes. And if we put all of these images as they are onto our web page, you'll notice down here that we have a total of 23 megabytes of uh, images. As you load more and more images onto a web page, you'll find that your your load times increase significantly. I just created on our website an image optimization test page. And the first thing you'll do <clears throat> is right click the page and press inspect. And if you're not familiar with this tool within uh, Google Chrome, which is the browser that we're using. Uh, it, it actually looks a bit daunting, but we're, we're not going to, to be going over this completely. The only place you need to worry about at this point in time is the tab called Lighthouse. What we'll be looking at is the category of performance on our desktop at the moment. And uh, I'll just press the analyze page button right here. And once the report is generated, you could see uh, quite a bit of information here. <clears throat> now we don't have images on the, uh, on the page yet. I just wanted to show you the lighthouse tool. So now what we'll do is take the raw images and load them into, into our page here. And here we are back at the network tab in the developer tools. Again, that was uh, right clicking and pressing inspect or F12 on your keyboard opens that up as well. Okay. <clears throat> and as you could see, these are loading much slower and if I sort by size now, we are in fact pulling the full versions here. So that's what we wanted. And now we can go back to Lighthouse and take a look at the impact those images have. And hopefully we'll see some data here. Right there, you can see in the opportunities, it says properly sized images and the estimated savings that you will get for properly sizing your images is 13.46 seconds um, off of there. And if we open that up, it gives us even more data. So, you know, let's let's suppose you had a web page, uh, you didn't know what images you needed to optimize. So, you know, this in this case, we're optimizing all of the images on the page because this is a test. And you can see these are, causing quite a bit of uh, grief here for the page load time. 
So <clears throat> if you didn't know what images you needed to, uh, you could go to any web page, open up developer tools, go to the Lighthouse section, run a scan, and this will tell you if you, in fact, do have some images that need to be optimized. There is a, a, a pretty large impact on your web page and ultimately your your profitability if the web page loads slowly and 50 60 70 percent of your potential customers bounce because of that you have a serious problem the tools that we'll be using i have two here for you fast stone photo resizer and riot or radical image optimization tool <clears throat> If I'm honest, I use Riot the most. I will demonstrate how Fast Stone works. They're comparable in quality that you can get, um, but I, I like the visual aspect of Riot and it's super duper easy. So we'll go through that first. So here we are in our folder. And what I usually do is if you have the screen space for it on your monitor, you can just put the uh, the Explorer and your photo optimizer right next to each other. <clears throat> From here, you can click open. Uh, this tool you can you can drag in, and you'll notice I'm dragging one in right now. And as I do that, there's a plus sign. If I drop it. It asks you, this file contains high resolution image. And it, it, you know, right away it's saying, hey, let's resize this. It's too big. So I say, yes, let's do that. And you'll notice that we have a width of 7,360 and a height of 4,912. Now, most of the time, a website uh, for most computers, uh, you know, on the high end is 1920 by 1080, sometimes more. Like I have a, I have a wide monitor and my monitor has a higher resolution, but I, uh, you know, not everybody has that. So in general, the rule of thumb is 1920 by 1080. Now, if you know for a fact, you're not using this image as a full width, across the website image, you can certainly size this smaller. So the rule of thumb is, if you aren't sure whether you're using this as a full width image or not, you can just put 1920 in there, let the height take care of itself with the keep aspect ratio toggle. So you'll notice when, as I put the width in, our height stays uh, up to, you know, it sticks with the appropriate aspect ratio. And then I press OK. And right away, you'll see that we have a five megabyte image turning into a 302.91 kilobyte image. And it gives you a preview of what that image looks like. And it, it is very impressive. Now, if you if you really, really looked hard, you can see that there is a difference, but you'll notice that down here below the image preview, we have a quality percentage and we're at 75% quality. Now uh, we'll go extreme here and put it down to one. And you can certainly see that from one to, I mean, you know we're getting we're getting really obvious here at 19% but check this out i mean this i'm going to make this full screen too let's look at the uh the the mouse because it gives us a pretty good uh it has a gradient we have some nice coloration here so we can see that as i increase let's say 25% that pix that pixelation goes away very quickly let's go to 35 it's getting smoother, 45, smoother still. And we can start dragging this around. And if to your eye, this is good enough for your 
web page and you could see a little like even in the original we have some pixelation here uh, or i would call it grain or noise not pixelation but uh, this looks a little less like noise and a little more like pixelation so we we keep going with it here's 55 it's getting a little cleaner but if that's good for you you're going from a five megabyte to a 213.08 kilobyte image with this tool very easily. Rule of thumb for me, 70, 75, 80. Now you'll notice 70, that's 274, 75, 302, 80, 347. We're fairly close in there. So split the difference, 75, which is where we, we began and to most people's eye, that's fine. Uh, you, you would have to really look hard. Yes, uh, sure. I mean, you you argue that you can argue that if you look at the, the keys on the keyboard, sure, it is. It's a little fuzzier, but that's very impressive in my opinion. And what I'm going to do here, and uh, I suggest you do, is you prep for the optimized images. And what I mean by that is right now, you have an images folder, you have original images in it, but you don't want to overwrite those images. You want to keep the raw images for later use. They can be used in print. Uh, if you overwrite them and that was your only copy, <clears throat> you know, you're not going to be able to use the high resolution. So keep the high resolution. And what we do is we right click and we go to new, and we go folder. And what I do is I put a folder in there called SM, meaning small. You could name it whatever you like, but this works for me. And now that we have the small, I go into this empty folder and I click here and I copy the path of that folder. And this is important. So copy that. <clears throat> now I go back, here are my original images. I open up our optimization tool again. I drag those in and you'll notice down here we have an output folder. Now you could have certainly browsed your computer like this, but I I don't care for how the uh, the browser looks. So I just go into the folder itself, grab the path and just replace the path here. And what I did control V, that's that's paste. You can also right click in here and do paste from there. Now our output folder is the small folder. We already set our quality. Here are the images being optimized. And I will press start. And before I do that, I'll go into this empty folder. And you'll notice it's set to overwrite or delete. And that's why we don't stay within the out, you know, put the output folder as the original folder because you will overwrite or delete the original. So yes, we're going because we already know we're in that new folder. And you'll notice that that folder begins loading up with the uh, the new optimized images. Now, our status shows that each image had between a 77% or 95% decrease in size. Uh, and that's sticking with a 1920 by 1080. All right, so let's go like this. 1920, pull those in, say, no, you know, I, I'm never going to use these particular images full screen, uh, full width. I mean, let's uh, let's say we, we can get away with half the size. Okay, so let's just go here. Um, let's make it 900 width. Okay, 900 width. We go into the folder, we grab, so control C copy, or you can right click and say copy. So we go back to our originals, drag those in. Let's make the width 900. Let's put our 900 folder in there. We have small to large, 42 kilobytes to 92 kilobytes. If that is all you will need, you have a very manageable file size that will take up little to no space on your server and load very, very fast. Let's go back to our page. 
Let's go to network. Let's control F5. And you'll notice that that uh, that size 900 is, is still a fairly large image if you're using it within content. So we're good there. And if I go and sort this by size, 42 kilobytes, 42 kilobytes, 49 kilobytes, are very, very, very small now. So what we'll do is we'll go to Lighthouse again and we'll see if our op this opportunity disappears. And we are back to an 82 score for performance. And if you had 23 megabytes of images on that page, you are, you know, shooting yourself in the foot. Uh, we'll go over the other optimization tool very quickly. Uh, it's used in a similar way. Uh, the interface, of course, is a bit different, but you can use whichever you're more comfortable with. And this tool, it has a, a nicer navigation. So I would say you could probably do everything right from, from this interface. So if that is something you like instead of the drag and drop, you can you can definitely do that here. Here we're gonna browse on the left side. We're browsing for uh, the folder of our original images. I'm pressing okay. And that brings the images up here. You could either say add all, which I think adds the folder. So I'd probably not do that. I would, I would go in and select all of those. Again, I'm clicking the top one, holding shift, clicking the bottom one and saying add here. And now this list is of all of the images you're optimizing and you have options down here. And what you'll do is you'll you'll choose the format of the original image. These are JPEG. So we're, we're going to click JPEG. And then you can click on the JPEG settings here and choose a quality that you're comfortable with. Let's just go with 75 from before. Okay, keep everything else the same. It's okay. And your output folder, let's go in and go to images. Now you can right click in here and create a folder. And I am calling that SM-FastStone so that we can see the difference. Press OK there. Advanced options is where you're resizing. Okay, so the quality takes care of some of the, the file size and then you're resizing takes care of the dimensions, okay? You could pick from a standard size here and it puts it in, okay? Or what, what we'll do is we'll just, um, we'll choose something like uh, 900 here as well and preserve aspect ratio should choose the larger of the side. So if it's vertical, it's gonna be 900 vertical and it'll just pick what with, and if it's, if it's, a wide image or horizontal, it'll choose 900 and pick what the height should be. And what you'll do is click convert. You could even rename them. I'm gonna undo that uh, to keep, and we don't need the preview. Convert, it's processing. Let's take a look. As you can see, they're pretty comparable, but Riot is our winner. If we were uh, having a side-by-side -side, uh, competition, but they're they're both very good tools. I suggest you try them out for yourself, see what feels good for you. And with that, uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. You can go onto the website and email us through our contact form or give us a call. Thanks so much. Take care.